Daily Words of God What does it mean to know God? It means being able to comprehend His joy, anger, sorrow, and happiness. This is knowing God. You claim that you have seen Him, yet you do not understand His joy, anger, sorrow, and happiness, and you do not understand His disposition. You also understand neither His righteousness nor His mercifulness, nor do you know what He likes or what He loathes. This is not knowledge of God. Therefore, some people can follow God but are not necessarily capable of truly believing in Him. Herein lies the difference. If you know God, understand Him, and are able to comprehend some of His will, then you can truly believe in Him, truly submit to Him, truly love Him, and truly worship Him. If you do not understand these things, then you are just a follower who runs along and goes with the flow. That cannot be called true submission or true worship. How does true worship come about? Without exception, all who genuinely know God worship and revere Him whenever they see Him. They are all compelled to bow down and worship Him. At present, while God incarnate is at work, the more understanding people have of his disposition and of what he has and is, the more they will treasure these things and the more they will revere him. Generally, the less understanding people have, the more careless they are, and so they treat God as human. If people really knew and saw God, they would tremble with fear. He that comes after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. Why did John say this? Though deep down he did not have a very profound understanding, he knew that God is awe-inspiring. How many people these days are capable of revering God? If they do not know His disposition, then how can they revere God? People neither know Christ's essence nor understand God's disposition, much less are they able to truly worship God. If they see only the ordinary and normal outward appearance of Christ, yet do not know His essence, then it is easy for them to treat Christ as just an ordinary man. They may adopt an irreverent attitude toward Him and can cheat Him, resist Him, disobey Him, and cast judgment on Him. They can be self-righteous and not take His words seriously. They can even give rise to notions, condemnations, and blasphemy against God. To resolve these issues, one must know Christ's essence and divinity. This is the main aspect of knowing God. It is what everyone who believes in the practical God must enter and achieve.